welcome to my channel. My name is Susie. I'm the owner and creator here at Susie on the Farm. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a what sold in my booth last month. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't know, I have a vintage booth in a store where I sell vintage finds and upcycled items that I have done on my YouTube videos. I also have a website, susieonthefarm.com, where I sell my upcycled items, vintage finds. I also sell fusion paint, IOD, and now Roy Cycle decoupage paper. So if you're looking for craft supplies, don't forget susieonthefarm.com. So today's video is a what sold in my booth last month. And, look, and this month, I'm actually gonna add in what I sold online. I'm not gonna get into the paint sales or the IOD sales or the paper sales. I do a lot of those, but I am gonna show you the vintage finds that I sold and the upcycled items. And as always, if there's a video where I upcycled the item, I will leave the link for that below if you wanna see how I made it. So to get started, um, I sold uh, this doorknob hanger. This was the last one. I've gotta get some more ordered. Um, I ordered these from Audrey's Your Heart's Delight. It's a wholesale company that I order some things from now and then. And these doorknob hangers rent over really well. I sold them for $9 each. I paid about $4 each for them, plus shipping. So next time I will probably put about $12 on them since they sold so well. I sold some milk glass. Always, always pick up milk glass because it always sells. I try to link all, you know, put all the milk glass in a vignette together. So some of these sold, a couple of these vases. Also in a video, I did a bunch of stamped tea towels. I sold every one of them. And so I made a whole bunch more and Last month, I sold one, two, three, four, five. I sold five more of the stamped tea towels, just random stamped tea towels that I used IOD stamp on, and I sold them all for $6. I may put seven, seven fifty dollars on the next batch since they all are selling really well. I sold um, this little chicken butter dish. Uh, I got this when me and mom went to Ohio. It was Foxcraft, I believe. No, I'm not sure what it was. I have to go back and look at that video. But I sold it for $8. I did sell this Foxcraft dish um, for $6. It was by itself, but it was really pretty. And somebody always has the set and needs a match to go with it, or they've broken their little platter. So I always pick up false graph because vintage false graph because it's really hard to find. I sold this little glass pitcher. I'm not sure where I got this. Uh, I think I may have had it a long time. I sold a um, couple of different doilies for four dollars each. I like to pick up vintage doilies. Um, I sold this little purple vase. Had it forever. I just keep moving it around. Put some lavender in it, and it finally sold for $6. Oh, I sold the uh, little fairy door canisters that I made in a video a long time ago. They were at my old booth. I moved to a new location and I sold that canister set for $24. I sold this patriotic pillow. It's another Audrey's order. Sold it for $24. A set of brass candlesticks. I'll try to put a picture in of everything that I've sold if I can find one. Sometimes I'm not real sure which brass candlesticks sold because I am always picking up brass candlesticks. Um, those, I sold those for $9. I sold, oh, this, I sold this pair of horses. Um, I had them a really long time. I did them in a video a while back and they sold for $16. I sold uh, this little table that I painted gray and put uh, transfers from the, um, not sure the name of the transfer now. It's got the wine bottles and everything in it, but it was this little wine, gray wine table. I sold it for $38. I sold this home sign that I did in the neutral 
um, mutual uh, um, thrift flip video. And it sold for $14 right across the street from our store is like a um, title company place where they have real estate closings. And I know the lady that bought that was a real estate agent heading to a closing. And um, so I think I may make some more things that say home on them just because they know that store's there and they like to buy their clients a little something at their closing. So anything that says home on it for a new home purchase would sell really well. Um, sold this little magnolia wreath for $6. Just had it for a long time. I got it at a thrift store. Um, I sold a vintage book for $6, probably a Reader's Digest. There's two more tea towels. I sold these white corbels. I, no kidding, have had these things since I started my booth in April of 22. So I just kept moving them around and eventually they sold for $16. Okay, these weren't the white ones. These were the gray ones, but still, I have had them a really long time. I sold a white white butt pan for $5. I sold this cute little brass whale for $6. I paid a dollar for it when mom and I went to Ohio. I sold a white canister, just a, a I think it was a Walmart white canister, but it was pretty for $8. I sold the last one of those Alabama baskets that I stamped Sweet Home on for $12. I sold another set of candlesticks. I think I did them in a video recently. Um, I sold them for $24. There's another tea towel. I sold a little wood crusher for $4 and these cute little pink birds that I got for a dollar. I sold them for seven. I made this, well, I didn't make this frame. I put a um, drop cloth or a chenille, old chenille bedspread in this gold frame and put an IOD transfer on it from last Christmas. And um, it wasn't, didn't have to be for Christmas. So somebody liked it and I sold it for $8. I sold one of these super cute little farmhouse mugs. I had a set of four I don't know why they only bought the one, but I sold it for $6. I did have them all individually priced just in case someone did not want them all. So I sold one of them for $6. I sold a rolling pin for $18. This was not a vintage rolling pin or one that I had upcycled. It was one that I had ordered from Audrey's. I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, sold it for $18. I think I paid eight dollars for it i sold a bunch of peonies for nine dollars i sold a little crystal it looked like a dove dish for fourteen dollars i think i got it when we went to ohio as well and also i told you i was going to throw in my vintage sales that i sold online most of my online sales are um, iod Fusion and now the papers, but I do also sell my upcycled items and a few vintage finds on there that I think will be easy ones to ship. Um, but so I did sell a few things online. Um, all of these are the prices and then they pay the shipping as well. I have a flat rate shipping of $9.95 unless it is a really expensive item to ship. And I don't usually list expensive items on my website, but I actually had someone email me after a video saying that they really, really wanted these decoupage cabinet doors. Would I please find out how much it would be to ship? And they wanted to buy them if I could, so I did. And I ended up selling them for $46 plus um, the shipping. And I sold, um, this vintage Wizard of Oz book that I got at a yard sale when I went to visit my daughter Kelsey in Gulf Shores. Um, I think I paid $5 for the book. It was, you know, an original vintage book and I sold it for $18 plus shipping. I sold this cute little primitive wooden tea light candle holder. I didn't do anything to it other than clean it up and I sold it for $10.99. 
I sold the seed catalog um, drawer boxes that I made recently in a video for $16.99. I sold a little small metal chicken wire basket for $6.99. I've had that a while, I was really glad it sold. Um, I sold one of these wall pocket planters uh, for $9.99. I did those in a video and a little brass cup for $9.99. Um, I know I kind of rushed through that. I actually, um, it's Tuesday or it's Monday night, so this video has to be out by Wednesday and I just did not have time to um, do any upcycle this week because I took a little girls trip vacation to the beach. Um, my cousins and aunts had a great time and it was so good to have a couple of relaxing days and not having to work because um, if you don't know, I have a full-time job and I also have my booth, I have my online store, and I have this YouTube channel. So I basically have two full-time jobs, so I work all the time. And um, so this week, that's all that I'm going to be able to do for y'all is tell you what I sold. I know a lot of people really like that because it's a lot of great information for what you can sell, what to pick up, what not to pick up. I'm still learning, I've had a booth for um, I guess about a year and a half now and I have grown so much and learned so much in such a short amount of time. I started out with just the YouTube channel and then I got my booth and then I started the website. I'm just continuing to grow and grow and I am loving this job and I'm loving you guys for watching and supporting me and I just want to thank you so much for all your support. So until next week, um, that's all, and I will see you again then.